A sign meant to promote acceptance and love outside of an Albuquerque church was defaced last night. Now the church is asking whoever is responsible to come forward to talk about it. News 13's Gabe Chavez has that story. For 80 years, La Mesa Presbyterian Church has been a fixture in the International District. It's been a safety, a sanctuary of safety for many, a place of home. Pastor Dr. Brett Mitchell was drawn to the church for that reason. What drew me was it's a wonderful integration of the diversity of the people, both in terms of sexual orientation, but also of gender, of race, ethnicity, ability, age, socioeconomic class. It was all, it is all here. A church whose congregation is accepting of all people, including members of the LGBTQ community, had this message just outside its building. Abide no hatred over a rainbow backdrop. That sign was approved by the congregation. Here, love is practiced. That here, the gospel of love is something that we want to share with others near, near as well as far away. So that's why we put this sign up that said, abide no hatred. But today, not even a month after the sign was put up, Pastor Mitchell made a shocking discovery. The sign ripped down from the plywood and spray painted with the chapter and verses of a Bible passage, Romans 118 through 32, a passage about condemning lifestyles the pastor says is taken out of context to spread anger. This is known as a clobber verse or a verse that's weaponized. Pastor Mitchell says the church will continue to spread messages of peace, love and acceptance and a new sign is already on the way. They also have a message to the vandal. If you were offended by our sign, come talk to us. Let us know what, what was offensive about that sign to you and maybe we can have a meaningful dialogue and move forward in this community that we know as International District. Gabe Chavez, KRQE News 13. La Mesa Presbyterian Church filed a report with APD. The pastor says for the time being, they plan to leave up that sprayed passage to encourage dialogue among the congregation and the community.